Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Fox, and I'm here at Linda Elementary School Library. And today I'm going to read a book entitled The Bernstein Bears. We love the library. There is no power like a book to take us far away, nor any place we'd rather be than in the library all day. The book was written by Mike Bernstein, and it's based on the characters created by Stan and Jan Bernstein. The whole bear family loved to read. They went through books the way most bears go through honeycombs, and they were always ready for more. Boy, look at them. Mama's reading a book about tigers, and Dad's reading his book. Everybody's reading a book. That's amazing. That's why one bright Saturday morning, they were on their way to the Bear Town Library. At the library, they returned a batch of books to Mrs. Dewey, the librarian. My goodness, she said. You're the book reading family I've ever seen. And there they are, turning in a ton of books. Oh, there's all kinds of books and their thoughts. Mama Bear wants Pride and Prejudice by Jan Brun. And Papa Bear Gone Fishing. I just love novels like Jane Bear and Paws and Prejudice, said Mama. And I like books about fishing and woodworking, said Papa. I know the kind of books you cubs most enjoy, said Miss Dewey. Would you like me to help you find them? Yes, please, Miss Dewey, said the cubs, taking her hand. And there they are. They're all walking towards the library stack of books. You know, said Miss Dewey, as they walked through the shelves, books are very powerful. What do you cubs think is the most powerful thing about books? Hmm, said Sister. I think it's the way you can see everything you read right inside your head. Wow, that's a good way of putting it, isn't it, huh? Yeah. And here we are looking at a book that sails. I know what you mean, said Miss Dewey. In the words of Emily Bear Dickinson, there is no frigate like a book to take us lands away. What does that mean? asked Brother. It's from a poem, said Miss Dewey. A frigate is kind of a ship. It just means that a book has the power to carry you off to distant places. The cubs thought it over, and they agreed, books are powerful. Here's our first stop, said Miss Dewey, animal stories for honey. Cub Corner, Animal Books, Get Hooked on Books. And here we go. There's everybody thinking about all kinds of things. Horses and chicks and dogs and cats and 
lambs and bunnies and more bunnies get hooked on a book. The shelves were stocked with books about spaceships and astronauts. Sister's favorite were stories about space grizzlies. She used to think they were scary, but then she got interested in telescopes and science and things like that, and that changed her mind. On to our next stop, said Miss Dewey, Outer Space Stories for Sister. And there she's looking out the telescope and actually the telescope is her mind. And she's thinking about all those space objects. And she's actually flying a spaceship herself in her mind. It's called imagination. Don't you love that word? Imagination. That means things that you think about that probably aren't real. Next up, said Miss Dewey, the world of long ago. This was brother's favorite subject. He loved stories about knights in armor, gladiators and warriors, anything in fact with a lot of swords and crossbows, catapults, siege engines. And there they are, he's thinking about them all, the gladiators and the catapult and the crossbow and there they are with their lances coming at each other and he's just thinking about all those his imagination is running wild the family gathered with their exciting new books to check them out thank you for helping miss dewey said the cubs will be back for more books soon, said Mama. Well, sighed Miss Dewey, shaking her head sadly. You may need to come back very soon. Why, asked Papa, what's the matter? Haven't you heard, asked Miss Dewey. The Bear Town Council is talking about closing the library to save money. Oh no, do you think they'd actually close the library? Oh no, cried the cubs. Where will we go for our books? You're right, cubs, said Mama. This is terrible. Something must be done. We can help, said the cubs. We don't want the library to close. And they're all thinking about the Bear Town Library with a great big closed sign on the door. Oh, are they ever, ever sad. Papa had an idea. I think it's great that you cubs want to help, but maybe we could do more. What do you mean? asked Sister. How would you cubs like to be in charge of keeping the library open, asked Papa. Count us in, said Brother. What do we need to do? Oh, they're all excited about Papa's new thoughts about how to keep the library open. With Papa and Mama giving advice, the cubs made a plan to keep the library open. First, they talked to all their friends and asked them to tell their parents and families about it. You can see that Papa's holding in his hand. It's called a game plan. And there's one, two, three, four things that they can do. And here they are talking to their friends and saying they're going to close the library if we don't do something about it. We better have some action. Well, they decide the very first thing that we needed to do is print flyers. The book says, next, they printed flyers and took them door to door. 
the flyer said to come to the next meeting of the Bear Town Council to stop the library from closing. Save our library. Please come to the next council meeting. Where? Town Hall. When? Tuesday, 6 p.m. And they handed out all of those flyers to every neighbor they could find. At the next council meeting, practically everybody or everyone in Bear Country turned out. Folks crowded through the doors and leaned in the windows when Mayor Honeypot called the meeting to order. Bear after bear spoke out against the library closing. And they weren't very happy. Look at those faces. There they are. Finally, old Miss McGrizzle stood up. When I was just a young girl, she said, I took the book Ballet Bear Shoes out of the library and I fell in love with it. That's why I became a ballerina myself. Without the library, that would have never happened. Was Miss Grizz really a ballerina? Whispered the cubs to Mama and Papa. Of course, said Papa, smiling. Everyone knows that. When she was young, she was the great ballerina Grizzlovia. She danced with the Berinsky Ballet. Oh, there she is dancing. She absolutely looks lovely. Yep. The Bear Town Council voted to keep the library open. The crowd cheered. Miss Dewey thanked the Cubs for leading the fight to save the library. As you said, Miss Dewey, said brother, books are powerful. But there's another power at work here, said Papa. Cub power. Let's hear it for the cubs. Hip, hip, hooray. Hooray cheered the crowd as brother, sister, and honey took a bow and blushed right through their fur. Everybody's happy. I'm Mr. Fox, and I'm here at Linda Library in Linda, California. 